All right, in this video, what we're going to be doing is flashing a control logic processor from version 28 to version 32. Now, there's some differences when normal flashing to go to uh, version 32 or 31. So we're going to show you that right now. We're going to take our actual, you know, processor in our trainer module or our trainer that we have and flash it up. Let's go ahead and do this. So first and foremost, I uh, have just a little shortcuts for me. What I do is I, on Windows 10, I like to throw in shortcuts for the windows. And we're going to pull up Control Flash, right? And then we're going to hit Next. What this is going to do is this is going to pull up all the inventory you have in your Control Flash, right? Now, this is where the difference is that you're going to see when you're normally used to flashing Control Logic processors, right? You're going to see that it's not going to be in the actual specified location than it normally was from version 30 below. It's gonna be into another section, and we're gonna show you that. So it does take a little little bit, depending upon how big your actual control flash is to pull all the inventory up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause the video real quick, and then we're gonna come back when this is pulled up so you can actually save time and get what you're after in this video. All right, so finally pulled up. And what this is gonna do is this, this is gonna have everything you have in your firmware kit, right? So this is again, firmware uh, control flash 15. But again, um, all you have to do if you don't wanna just scroll through, um, you know, the big list down here is just basically itemize and type in. So we know we're on a control uh, logic processor. So it's 1756. And then we're gonna come down here and pick our actual processor. I want to show you this because this is where it separates from the, the standard control flash, you know, basically coming in here to the actual next section. So there's a key indicator here. This right here, the standard control flash will only take you to version 30. And the next one down on the very bottom, I believe it's, it's right up underneath. I actually passed it. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of go, let's see, let's put this back in. That way we can get close to it. And let's come back in here and actually pull it up like this because there's a different um, driver that you need to actually use or a different uh, firmware that you're going to have to actually pick from. And this is where it's gonna separate everything, right? And I wanna say it was pretty much close to the very bottom, but we're gonna check that, right? So we're gonna come down here and scroll through here. This is what happens when you have a lot of, okay, so here's here's part of it. You see this right here? This is what you're looking for, okay? <clears throat> and this is guard logic. This is, you have, you have guard logic and then you have control logic, right? So this is what you're going to be actually looking for when you're flashing to version 32. Right now, if you're flashing below 32, you don't need to do this. Right, you need to go to the standard place with the the. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna pop this and copy this real quick, and then <clears throat> if you're doing a standard, if you're doing so, remember this. Right, if you're doing a standard flash and you're not going to version 32, you're going or 31 for that matter, 31 or 32, you're, you're basically going to let's put this in here. And, and you're going to just like I say version 30 or below something like that then you can go to any one of these click next right if you click next you're gonna pick your processor right pick your processor and then you get to choose which version you go to okay now the Heinz and, and you can even go you know further down below than that but again you can only go up to version 30 now I'm gonna show you this a completely different way is again, we've talked about this, and I'm gonna put this back in here. I'm gonna come in here, put that in there, then I'm gonna select this. This is gonna actually pop up the new process where I can actually take it to version 32, right? So now I can take it to version 32, and then we can actually flash it to version 32. Now, this is again, it, doesn't, it has to be an L7 or greater Right, so it has to be L7 or greater. It's gonna give you a couple things for basically, you know, indications of like, you know, digital cards and stuff like that if you haven't installed. But uh, just note that when you're flashing this stuff, right, 
you just know when to use the right file. Now, I know there's some questions right here that it may come up. Where am I going to get this? Where am I going to get the firmware file, right? Well, you have to get all the firmware from rockwellautomation.com or ab.com, right? Again, that's where you get the firmware. And I'm not, you, you, I'm pretty sure you have to have an account. If you don't have an account, it's free to sign up. If you have an account, you can get the firmware. Now the firmware again is a generally a free thing for you to get. There's like there is a lot of tech things and tech supports and stuff like that that's locked out and you need an account for. But as far as getting firmware, I do believe that it is completely free. You just have to sign up. Again, that's rockwell.com or rockwellautomation.com and then ab.com. One, you know, they, they, there's two different websites that kind of redirect to each other. But again, when it comes down to it. That's how you do this. Now we're gonna actually pause the video, wait till it finishes, and then I'm gonna go back and verify through RS Links that it did change from version 28 to version 32. So we wanna verify afterwards to make sure we did actually flash the processor and it did everything accordingly. So I did wanna unpause this real quick to show you the, the end blocks. This is four blocks just gotta transfer. And then when it gets done, it's going to start polling and reset your processor. So again, this is the part where it comes back and it makes sure that everything is there and it goes and it cycles the power on the actual processor internally. It sends the request to do that. Now, there are instances too where you definitely need to, you, you know, you may have to have your processor. If they already has a program involved, you may need to put that program in side of you know like a, a program mode or something like that instead of a run mode because again it's not going to let you flash but what i will say too is you need to make sure you have your program backed up before you do that because if you do you will lose everything that's in this processor so make sure you know that now it's polling it's coming back and it's it's going through the process right now and it's actually coming through and making sure that it's power cycling making sure everything's good coming back and then we're going to go into RS links and verify that it did change because again once we do stuff so, we need to need to have the due diligence behind what we're doing to verify that this stuff did actually transition because that the whole purpose of what we're doing is to take this L7 from a version 28 to a version 32 so we can start using it on our trainer to train with version 32 and as you see we did actually have a complete successful um, flat firmware flash. So what we're going to do is click OK. We'll hit cancel. Come over here. Open up RS links. We're going to check the processor. Verify that the processor is still communicating. We're going to come in here check properties. This is a version 32 now. And everything is working accordingly. So we now have our trainer set up so we can start actually doing videos and doing training on version 32 to help you guys with that as well so hopefully this video helps you and again if you need the software or you need the actual firmware to flash this make sure you go to rockwellautomation.com and get that for yourself sign up and uh, get a free account so I, I believe you can get that through there and uh, again when it comes down to it it's really simple really easy make this is an actual Windows 10 environment, but make sure you do have a control flash of, I believe it's 15 or greater. You may can do it on the earlier version. I am showing you on a control flash of 15. So again, hopefully you appreciated this video and it did add you value. If it did subscribe and we'll, again, we produce videos all the time to help you guys out. So again, thank you and uh, we'll see you on the next one.